ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೇ ಆಸ್ ಯೂಶಿಯಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಕೋಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಡೆಬಿಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ that means always it is equal in the life in the similar fashion our debit must be equal to credit because we are dealing with journal for that sake i have written one quote happiness debit is equal to credit and at the same time where i would like to request all of you those who have not subscribed please kindly subscribe and press the bell icon button so that you will get continuous notification thank you now let us start the session before starting this session where i would like to have a glance that what i did in my last class that is we dealt with journal the meaning of jur journal is jur word derived from french word means a day or rough book then we dealt with what actually accounting equation asset minus liability is equal to capital our liability plus capital is equal to asset then we have seen the pro forma of journal pro forma of journal then we learned what is narration most important what is narration brief history of the transaction these are the things that what we learned today we are supposed to write directly the journal but where i am getting you one uh, beautiful thing i told you in my previous class only you may all get confused with the traditional and modern method today i am going to just concentrate only on one thing comparative analysis of the transactions under traditional method and modern method then you will come to know that nothing is different only one thing is the expression differs expression differs but ultimately your debit equals credit how it will be say i have taken about six transaction today i am going to deal with those six transactions then you will come to know what it is now here first mr p started business with cash rupees 1 lakh i have written here traditional method here i have written modern method but you keep keep on observing it is one and the same say under traditional method when you divide the transaction or group the transaction right or classify the transaction cash and capital p started the business with cash and capital capital of whom capital of mr p so cash is real account and p is personal account then debit credit 1 lakh 1 lakh say so under traditional method the same thing how it is going to apply under modern method modern method say cash is asset capital is liability whenever you get any personal account the personal account is what actually either it must be asset or it must be a liability so cash is asset which is showing increase then capital liability increase 1 lakh debit 1 lakh credit then you may ask sir why you have written increase increase it is entity concept again you should come back to entity concept cash is coming into the business cash is increasing but when cash is increasing at the same time the liability of the business is also increasing because one or the other day the business has to repay back the amount that is why it is called as liability increasing that is 1 lakh 1 lakh what you have written 1 lakh 1 lakh here also you have written 1 lakh 1 lakh here we are showing per real account and personal account here we are showing what you call that is asset and liability increase increase now let us take the second example bought goods for cash bought goods for cash again you have two things purchases in the earlier i said goods and within the bracket purchases because you, you should learn that one now we have already learned those one now we will use the regular words that is purchases within bracket where you should remember that is why i have written goods then the other one is cash 
both are real account as per traditional method both are real account one is debit the other one is credit because goods are coming in cash is going out so 20000 20000 now under the modern method purchases goods here purchases means it becomes expenses it becomes expenses when it is expenses it is debit that means increase then cash when you purchase goods cash is going out that means it is an asset your asset is coming down your asset is coming down so debit 20000 credit 20000 the same thing what about whatever happens here the same thing happens but what 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 do you call difference is here real real account here we say that increase or decrease and we say expenses and asset we are classified in a different manner now the third transaction bought goods from mr m rupees 10000 bought goods from mr m rupees 10000 i have written two things one is purchases that is goods the other one is it is m why it is on credit basis you have purchased the goods on credit basis when i purchase the goods on credit basis then you have not paid the cash that means you have purchased goods and you are due to mr m so goods is real account and mr m is that is personal account so one debit one credit 10000 10000 but what happens when i go for the modern method in modern method purchases is expenses purchases is expenses the other one mr m is liability just now i told you any personal account either it must be asset or it must be a liability why it is a liability you have purchased the goods from mr m you have not paid the cash but you have to pay the cash that means till that time it is a liability for the business until we pay the amount to mr m because we have purchased the goods mr m from the business point of view is a liability that means my liability is increased for the purchase of goods that's why we both are showing increase increase 10000 10000 then go for the next one we have uh, if you are observing so clearly one is what actually the i have invested the capital i have purchased the goods for cash and i have purchased the goods on credit in this similar fashion why we are doing trade we are doing trade for buying and selling simply we will not buy any goods we will buy the goods and we will sell the goods for what purpose to earn income to get profit to get profit in the similar fashion i have written but now we will go for sales sold goods for cash 10,000 again there are two things cash and sales within bracket i have written goods so cash is real account and goods is also real account or sales is also real account 15,000 15,000 that is under traditional method let us go for modern method cash and sales asset and revenue or even you can call it as what do you mean by income if you get confused you can say that what actually income nothing is wrong you can say revenue you can call it as income to remember it one is cash the other one is sales cash is asset you are getting cash asset increases 15000 when you sold goods it is an income income what happens actually increases that is also showing increase so cash debit 15000 sales credit 15000 you see in both the methods debit and credit are one and the same here also cash has been debited sales has been credited here also cash has been debited sales has been what actually credited when we do this one this we are going to write it in the general journal that means called the date particulars ledger folio debit credit we are going to write the same thing there is no difference i am giving you today the comparative statement so that you should not get confused if i learn only this method what happened to that method if i learn only that method what happened there is no confusion say you are you are now we are strong with the foundation that foundation is uh, with the traditional method as well as with the modern method it is one and the same now in the similar fashion sold goods to mr y rupees 10000 now it is a credit transaction you have sold the goods to mr y he has he is not paying the cash now he is going to pay the cash that means 
we are going to receive the amount later on in such a case that is called as mr y is personal account then sales is what are the goods is real account now one is debit one is credit then come to the modern method under modern method mr y is asset why i told you earlier again and again i'm repeating whenever you write personal account either it must be debit or it should be credit or which is called as asset or liability asset or liability so mr y is an asset why it is asset we have to receive from mr y we have to receive from mr y because we have sold the goods on credit and at the same time sales it has been revenue i have already told you you can call it as what actually income once again you can write what actually income no problem income that means again both are showing increase because we have to receive and income also it is a plus point that is 10000 10000 then we'll go for the other one which is called as paid salary i am dealing with real account personal account nominal account all accounts are there here assets liability expenses income everything is there so in the similar fashion here i have written paid salary is rupees 5000 that is salary and cash salary is nominal account and cash is real account so salary is 5000 debit and cash is going out 5000 credit then what happens to the modern method that is salary is expenses salary is expenses any expenses always increases increases then cash is asset which decreases why when you paid the expense your cash balance automatically comes down that means it is called as what actually decreases how much 5000 5000 now you see what i promised you in my last class definitely if you are going to get me any suggestion that i am going to get you the comparative but i thought that let me get you the comparative statement then write all these transactions in the regular journal then it becomes easy for you all of you that means you have learned both the methods traditional method and what actually modern method now today one small one concept that i am going to explain and finish my lesson today that is here i have written if you take the transaction number 3 transaction number 3 bought goods from mr m got bought goods from mr m that is mr m is what actually p is personal account so personal account here what happens we say that it is here a debit liability but mr m is called as what do you mean by creditor is called as what actually creditor in the similar fashion when you go for the fifth entry sold goods to mr y that means it is on credit basis to mr y mr y is debtor mr y is debtor so you can easily say one particular thing here what is that very 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 simple creditor means always liability debtor means always asset very simple creditor means liability debtor means always asset so this is where we have to learn this particular concept this is where we have to learn this concept once you learn this now it is very easy for all of you to write what actually the journal entry now in my next session i am going to get you transactions and journal entry transactions and journal entry in that i am going to explain what is the real journal entry for expenses real journal entry for expenses most of us we commit lot of mistakes and are that that i am going to deal in my next class or next session that is called as the real expenses journal entry how to write it how to write it thank you